All right. So today we're going to be looking at uh, radio buttons for Python. And um, let's get started with this program. Starting from the top, we are going to import tkinter. Then the tkinter message box. Uh, we're going to build our class, define our init. Um, we're going to put main window in there. Uh, we're calling the tk class. We're going to get a top frame and a bottom frame. And we're going to put this um, instance in it. Um, now here, uh, with self.radio.var, we call um, the int var uh, method here. And with this right here, we're going to set the initial value to 1, I believe. Um, and in here, we get radio button 1. We send it top frame. Give it a text of option 1. The variable would be assigned to this thing right here, tkinter.infar. And value would equal 1. So this is a value holder for integer variables. This appears to be what um, this radio var is for. Um, then we're going to pack them. OK and quit button. Pack those. Pack the frames. Call the main loop. Here we got show choice, which will um, put a heading of selection. And then once the dialog box pops up, they'll say you selected option. Then we um, get the string radio underscore var dot get. Um, let's see here. Radio var. Okay, so yeah, it's called radio var. It'll get the text, I believe. Option one. And then we'll run the program. Let me go ahead and click start and see what happens here. So, looks like it's not happy with my code. Um, says line 19. Not found. Something's not packing. There is no attribute for RB1. Strange. Did I just not save it? Nope, it's saved. It knows what I have. But it doesn't like it. What's going on here? Code looks right. I mean, I'm not doing anything unusual. There's no typos or anything. Something's unhappy about line 19. Very weird. Well, there is a very, very subtle, um, subtle error here. And um, if you look closely right here, that's an L, not a 1. We change it to a 1, our code runs. So you have to watch out for subtle errors like that. Um, that um, error was there before I presented this program over here, and I wanted to show that to you in this video. Make sure you don't confuse ones and l's. That's been causing me some grief. Anyways, I got what I wanted. Um, click OK. Select the option one, option two, option three. So. It would appear that when you do um, the dot get, you will get the text as soon as you do string. As soon as you designate it to be string, it'll do get. Um, and then I believe it'll start out off at one. Yep, because of that set. I believe if we were to call it two. Go start in the middle. Yep, so it works just like I figured. Uh, man, I'm just curious if we were to do int, 
Is that a thing? Oops. Guess it just doesn't like that. Because they were supposed to be ints. And that'd be weird. Huh. Alright, cool. That's the program.